Edward Farmer, licensed realtor in Austin, Texas here. Welcome to an episode of Austin Original. Let's jump right in providing information you can use if you're a buyer or a seller. After covering the core material, I will end the video with more about me. Today we're going to cover three core subjects that make a huge impact towards a smooth informed buying process and cover some liability for the seller as well. The first one, option period and inspections. Second, correct paperwork. Third, seller's disclosure. The first option period and inspections begins when the seller and the buyer have an agreement in writing. The buyer has cut a check to the seller and in return, the seller has made the property available for the inspections ranging from plumbing, electrical, roof, air and heat systems, foundation, septic, termite, anything and everything the buyer would like to do in this set number of days. With the results of these inspections, the buyer could return to the negotiating table with the seller asking the seller to make or compensate for a targeted repair which was discovered. Number two, correct paperwork. This is a surprising core topic that pops up often, creating issues between buyer and seller. So using the Texas Real Estate Commission promulgated forms, using up to date and filling out all blanks or supplying an NA when a blank is not applicable will go a long way for a smooth transaction. This way, the questions of whether the fridge remains, whether the Nest central thermostat remains, will be answered. Uh, answers also to who owns the property. Is the realtors involved? Are they part of the ownership? Is there any water rights that accompany the ownership? What about the solar panels? Those are an increasing popular personal property or is that part of the sale? Are they leased or are they owned? Using the right paperwork will definitely answer these questions. Finally, number three, seller's disclosure. This is, an, this is filled out by the seller and signed, and this is most of the times required by all sellers from the state of Texas. This form, seller's disclosure, will allow the seller to write down the history of the home during their ownership and highlight any improvements they've made. This will clear up whether those improvements were permitted. This will supply information on any insurance claim, if there was any water intrusion, if any of the systems that the house has that you're enamored with as a buyer work or which ones do not. I hope this helps. More to come if you have additional questions. Don't hesitate to reach out via phone, text, or email. And I've been a full-time realtor for 27 years, born and raised here in Austin, and love helping my sellers and buyers. Check out my website, nativeaustinrealestate.com. All the best.